All right, welcome to Star Wars. So it's a big year for the galaxy. Okay, one of the biggest things is The Mandalorian, which is the number one show in the U.S. We have a lot of Mandalorian product as well. Over here for our fans, we have the uh, vintage packaging here in the three three quarter inch, so you can see awesome characters like Cara Dune. First time we're ever doing a Remnant Stormtrooper, so that's a big deal. Then we have our ATST Raider and our Imperial Troop Transport. I love this one. Um, and then of course through the Black series as well, they'll continue to update new waves of characters, especially as the series goes on. Um, now in role play, we have this guy. This is really exciting because it is the dark saber. We've never done a dark saber before. So just a little background, if you don't watch Clone Wars or if you haven't seen the last episode of The Mandalorian, this is an ancient Mandalorian tool that's used against lightsabers. So you're going to turn this on. Hold it down and it has this awesome lightning effect, so you're charging it up. It's also gonna come with really cool crash and bash features, so you can really fight against a bunch of lightsabers. Whether you're good or bad, bounty hunters can decide. So that's gonna be really exciting. That comes out in the fall. This is brand new. We have our Star Wars mission fleet. So for all of the fans out there who are really obsessed with the vehicles of Star Wars, because how could you not be? We have four different price points of vehicles here. So of course you see the incredible Millennium Falcon. Um, we have X-Wings, TIE Fighters. We have some more Mandalorian here with the child. Then if you look up here, we have jetpacks and we have bikes. So there are four different price points, like I said. And what's great about this is each vehicle is gonna come piloted with its own fan favorite figure, and they'll each come with a projectile feature as well. And you can take these projectiles and move it throughout the line. So if I wanted to take Darth Vader and his, and I wanted to attach it to my Millennium Falcon, obviously we never want Darth Vader piloting that, would be scary, but he can. And so you have all these different options throughout the entire line. Now we're celebrating because it's the 40th anniversary of The Empire Strikes Back, the uh, most beloved Star Wars film. So here's what they're doing to celebrate. They have these amazing photo reel technology uh, six inch figures that are highly detailed, um, incredibly articulate, and they're putting them in the original Kenner packaging. So you're still getting that vintage nostalgic packaging, but with these incredible six inch figures as well. They look so good. R2-D2 is my favorite. The dirt just gets me. Then they're also gonna be celebrating with vehicles. So here you can see two of them. We have the Imperial Probe Droid, and of course, Boba Fett's Slave One. So one of my personal favorite features of this is it's gonna come with Han in Carbonite. You can see it there. That to me is just like bringing it home. That's an insane detail. And here, I'll bring this to you. They're also celebrating with role play items. So here we have Boba Fett's helmet. Now everyone loves Boba Fett. They have been waiting for this. This is a seriously high demand for the fans. And so we're gonna press this button. This will come down. You get those awesome red LEDs flashing in a hunting pattern. And then it's gonna be hard to see with the camera here, but you see that display in the screen. And you go on the inside, the detail still going and it's soft so bounty hunting can be comfortable. We're gonna continue to come out with new waves of characters for the entire universe. So we have episodes one to nine, Clone Wars, and we're gonna do gaming greats as well. So you get those awesome characters from the games. Then down here, so last year we came out with the hyper real Darth Vader. These are those infinitely poseable uh, with the, they can move any which way. They're gonna come with different hands, different faces. And so now they're making Luke. This way you can now start to really build out your favorite scenes from the film. So here you can see they're building one from Empire Strikes Back. Um, but it's incredible, you can't, there's no plastic connector, so it's really as real as it's, they've gotten so far, unbelievable. Um, we have the vintage line again, this is the original size of our figures, that three, three quarter inch in this incredible packaging here. And then my personal favorite, the Force FX lightsabers. Oh, this is, this is just as close as you're gonna get, right? Without actually almost killing someone. So it has that progressive blade. It has an accelerometer, that amazing metal hilt. It just feels like you're ready to battle. You're ready to be a Jedi. And uh, we have three new characters there. So this is Kit Fisto's. 
we have Count Dooku and Asajj Ventress right here. Now these are, you think this is it, right? This is like as high as it gets. No, 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 no. This is our Force FX Elite line. So when this is up and running, you're gonna have a color changing blade. It's gonna be able to uh, remove from the hilt. So you can even see these really awesome features here. And then once you take it out, there's a kyber crystal on the inside that you can then also take out and will also be the color of the blade that you choose. Can you, I mean, and this is Darth Revan's from the game. Very exciting. So as you can see, there are a ton of exciting things for Star Wars this year. Um, whether you wanna be Sith, Jedi, or somewhere in between and be a Mandalorian.